Ciao guys. So welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video we are going to see how to make a this uh, model. So actually I got a comment saying that my audio in the last two videos it's not that great. So what I'm going to do is like I did an alternative way in this videos. Like in the upcoming videos though I am trying to correct that mistake. And please let me know in the comment section if the audio is clear or not. Okay. So now let's go into the video. Before we are making the model, just I'll just ask you to do one thing: like subscribe to my channel. Subscription is so good for me. So I open Grasshopper. You I don't need to tell it. Like you can type Grasshopper in the command prompt of Rhino. You will get Grasshopper. So technically, like uh, we just need to create like a base, but not like a cylinder. But uh, like a base shape, like in the top, it's been compressed. So you, we just we are going to see like three to four process, like four uh, intermediate process to get the final output. Okay. Now we know what is the final output because yeah, because like I already showed, we just want to create something replicating this shape. Okay. Not exactly we are going to try, but mostly the concept will be the same. So first, I'm going to use construct point yeah so the construct point is the uh, component which creates a point based on the input value of xyz coordinate by default it has 0 comma 0 comma 0 that is origin before we proceed like use bifocal because if you have bifocal you get this kind of label so that if i use this for you it is more easier to understand what component i'm using and now i'm going to use polygon like i'm going to create a polygon over here so i'm going to use this point as a plane and now i'm going to give a radius and the segment so what i'm doing is i'm double clicking in the canvas you get a search bar where if i type a number by default it gives me a number slider so that's what i'm trying to do so i'm creating a polygon with 15 sides and the radius of 20. i'm just like i'm going to so now what i'm going to do is i want to create a multiple polygon like a like a uh, multiple number of polygon and uh, i need to scale that down so that's the process we are going to see what i'm going to do is i'm going to use move and i'm going to connect it over here and now like uh, there is like two ways of generating a list of numbers one is range and another one is series now i'm creating range and uh, over here i am taking a panel like i'm going to create a domain that is like i'm going to assign a start and end value from 0 to 100 from in this i just need a value like 50 values inside like for example like uh, if this is 0, this is 100, I need uh, 50 values of equal interval between the numbers. So I just connect it over here. You can see I got like around 51 numbers. So in range, the 0 is being counted. Like when you give 50, it counts as 51 numbers. So now I'm going to connect it over here. So when you want to move, uh, like I now I have the value, but I don't I also need to give a direction What you can do is like usually I give like unit set, okay But you can also do another way. I'll just show you like uh, we can do it by using plane So I'm creating a plane XY plane with uh, the point as reference and using this plane for the polygon Okay, I'm just inserting a plane. Now I'm going to deconstruct this plane. Uh, deconstruct. Plane. Okay. So when I deconstruct the plane, it gives me a origin of the plane. It gives me the x-axis vector of the plane. It gives me the y-axis. And it gives me the z-axis, which is which are the three vectors. So if this, right, I'll show you. If this is a plane, and it gives me a vector of this, it gives me a vector, and this gives me a vector. Now it looks like normal, 
but when you use a plane in a like a perpendicular plane for a like a random curve at that point of time this one will be useful instead of using pull point or pull curve this one will be more accurate sometimes so i just use amplitude so now the amplitude is over here and we have the vector from z axis which the axis which is the direction on of which we need to create the numbers so now we got the like a uh, 50 polygons okay a list of uh, a list which has like 50 poly uh, polylines like not po sorry polygons so now we are going to manipulate this polygon with a uh, component using scale so now i'm going to use scale over here okay so you can see like why it is being scaled because according to center it takes like 0 comma 0 as center but if I want to scale it in X and Y axis in every circle, then I need to create center for all the 50 points. What you can do is you can create area and you can uh, create polygon like here and you can connect it over here. Okay, uh, sorry. I need to connect the polygon here because it has only one polygon over there, the move polygon. So you can do this. Or else you can also what you can do is you can create move again here uh, use this like use the same vector value over in the motion and create a geometry from XYZ plane or like you can use like construct points so it has the same process instead of uh, moving the polygon we are using moving the construction point so you can do any either step so in grasshopper the algorithm can be created in different ways and each algorithm will be unique unique way of approach from others so you, you you don't need to follow a set of rules what i'm doing i'm trying to do this because i just need to understand the principle behind each and every component i'm using uh, so that's why i'm just using as an example you can create your own when you when you start using uh, like uh, creating the algorithm by yourself sometimes you will create something something unique when you are not like uh, by yourself like when you're creating more like three to four algorithms like when you're practicing it again and again so sometimes you will come up with different unique algorithms so but now what i'm going to do is i'm going i need to manipulate this scale factor value what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a range again but in this case i'm going to use this step value here but for the domain i'm going to set the domain as like 0 to 1 which is already being set by default now i'm going to use a graph mapper to uh, manipulate the data which i'm generating so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use bezier curve like bezier is my most favorite so like let's check like this okay before now then let's remap uh, the number it's kind of like we are like changing a number based on the domain like the domain which we are creating source is nothing but the maximum and minimum value of the list which is technically the 0 comma 1 because you already set the domain you can use bound over here or else when you're setting a domain you can connect the domain over to the source so the bound gives me the maximum and the minimum. Now I'm going to construct a domain. So the number which is been in the graph map should be changed proportionally to the number which, uh, which I'm creating in the domain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create like a 0.55. Okay, okay. So now I'm just going to use this map over here. You can see it's been changed. The shape of the structure has been changed. So now what I'm going to do is I just like going to change the curve value like over here. Okay. Not bad. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this. 
you might be asking bro why are you rotating it like i'm just rotating this um like um so there is like 50 curves okay like 50 polygons if i explode this right i'll just show you why i'm rotating so I explode this and create a um a value like uh maybe like a uh, like a poly polyline okay polyline and like I use the segments, it creates a line like this. Let's flip the matrices. So it flips the trees. So you can see now this polyline which we created without rotating, it's straight. So when I rotate the polygon, I'll just show you the difference. So what I'm going to do is, you can see this is like an angle. I need to change it to degree or else you can create a radian component. So this one mm, create like uh, from like the value which you given degree, it's all, all it's been converted into radians. And uh, so it's like, it's up to you. You can either uh, change it degree directly over here or like if you want to input in radians, but your values in degree, you can convert it like this. So I just use range again here. But in the domain, I'm just going to give like 0 to 180 degree of rotation. And the numbers are the same, like the steps over here, because like, uh, I said, this is the number. Because we use, uh, we need to generate the value. Uh, like we have 50 polygons, so all the values which you are generating should be matching the same number, which is like parametric. At last, when you change that number slider, you at the entire model will be changed. So now it's been rotated. Okay. Now you can see no difference, but I use the same control C, control V over here, and when I connect the curve over here. So you can see the difference. What I'm doing is like here when I rotate it. So as a model, you don't um, like a, uh, wait, I'll show you like, and uh, end points. So here, all the start and end points are the same, all the polygons, but when I rotate it, like, like it creates like 50, like 50 values, like from zero to 180. So the first uh, polyline polygon will be in zero. Second polygon will be like, a, uh, like a 3.6 degree rotated third will be like 7.2 degree rotator so in this case when i connect the rotator geometry you can see the start and the end is been changing as well as when i explode this then all the vertices is being moved so when i uh, flip the matrices like uh, if i don't flip it creates like this but when i flip it it creates vertical so all when the points have been rotated, you can see like um, this point is being moved. So what is the difference between flip matrices is like, right, I'll just generate like 0, 1, 2, 3, okay. Uh, like uh, multi-line data, end twin. I'll just show you the difference between flip matrices. Okay. So when I create this number, you can see like all the value is being generated like a, in a different branch. So the 0, 0,01 branch has like the value. Like, like I just use the same value in three different branches. So it's been given as three different branch. But when I use flip matrices, so this 0, 0, 0, 0 will be in one branch, 1, 1, 1 will be in one branch. I'll just show you it. So you can see the 0, 0. So all the uh, so it has been flipped the indices become the branch the branch becomes indices so the indices of 0 0 0 becomes one, one branch so indices of 1 1 1 so these are the indices number uh, from the line you see these are the indices number so that becomes like a branch so the same concept over here so it becomes like the point has been acted as vertical so this is how I'm just explaining for now what the flip matrix is doing here. So now as you see like uh, we got uh, the 
one minute i'll just delete this and this one is like just an uh, uh like an like how do i say just an like to show what is the difference okay now like let's keep this aside okay now we are going to play with the this curves like the explode so i just hide everything else okay so the points are you can see the points is being moved so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a line sdl so line sdl is like uh, it creates a line from start then we need to give a direction then we create create a line so not from start and end so now we have the uh vertices which is a start point now you can see the line has been created in the top way by default so what i want to do is like i want to make this line uh, go outward of the point like outward so what i'm going to do is like it's so simple i'm going to create perpendicular frames perpendicular frame on the segment so i'm going to use this now i'm going to give a value of 0.0 so and i'm going to reparameterize so reparameterize if you if you see in my last video like the naruto video or like uh, the uh, the chinese uh, roof structure i used to uh, explain wha what is the use of reparameterize like so reparameterize and perpendicular frame so you can check in that video like uh, if you are following this try to follow all the videos one by one because like in lot of videos i explain certain components like detailed uh, by using that model okay deconstruct plane okay so i'm going to deconstruct the plane over here and now for the direction i'm going to use the y axis over here and for length i'll just give 20 to show you that like the point like let's hide this so you can see like from here it's being moving like this so the, i'm just using the perpendicular frame from that the y axis so here the perpendicular frame the y axis of the perpendicular frame is been changing so that i said in the start of the video the deconstruction plane is so helpful because when i use when i want to create a line which has like different directions so i just create a perpendicular frame then i grab the y axis like deconstruct the plane i use the axis from that which is more uh, efficient uh, way like we also have a lot of alternative ways to do that uh, but uh, in this way i'm trying in this video i'm trying to do in this way okay but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to like um like you can see the lines are like uh, like all the lines are the same value of 20 which i don't need i just want it to be like uh or manipulated so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh like uh create like a range again so before going into range the number yeah Okay. maybe i'll just group this group so this is a number which we are using number 50 for the domain i'm not using the panel i'm just constructing the domain so that i can alter it if you if you are altering the domain then use the construct domain and use it but i use here the panel because i know that these values won't be altered like 0 to 180 0 to 1 uh, these values i know that they they won't they won't be altered to be a parameter so that's why i didn't uh, change uh, i don't i didn't i didn't use construct domain where i don't need to change any value so here what i'm going to do is like uh, um, maybe i'll just use like for now 0 to 1 will be like asking uh bro it's the same value but uh, i will be changing so right now i'll just use 0 to 1 and for step i connect it then i use like graph mapper and i just connect it over here as i said before my favorite 
Rebecca which graph type is desired. Now I'm going to use remap numbers. So as I said before, the numbers is been remapped. So now I get bound. You can use bounds or you can connect it from here. Okay, it's up to you. Now I'm going to use construct domain. Maybe I'll just copy this control C control E and uh, yeah, let's keep like I want to change the all the values to a range of 0 to maybe 10 okay now I just need to flat sorry graph this and I'm going to connect it to the length so if you don't see the difference okay okay let's connect it like uh, maybe like let's uh, loft it maybe i can show you the difference okay let's flip the matrix okay you can see like uh, i have like two curves because here in the same place we have start point as well as end point so the line sgl creates two uh, set of lines over there what i'm going to do is i'm going to sort the list over here not sort sorry uh split list so in this i'm going to use the vertices over here and then i'll give like value of 15 the value this one has been generated from the start of the segment the number of segments we give so here we just join this maybe just simplify and uh, simplify this okay so you can see uh, so at the end uh, you can see the value like uh, what do you say it starts with a zero and ends with a 15 something like that but uh, i don't need this let's see okay so instead of changing that i'll just change the curve over here i just bring down the curve here because i just want the center so by this graph it says like um, so zero to one is like uh, so this one is zero and this point is like zero so we are just manipulating the uh, curve so by this you can see like these two becomes like zero the value of the top and bottom because like this is the top this is the bottom and the curve is like the curve creating between the in between the curves so i'm just like uh making like here like i'm just adjusting a little bit uh, um, okay not bad so this is uh the one i need so I just like uh, lofted this to show you what we are really doing. So now uh, I'll just show them. So now we got the this one surface. Now we need to create another surface, and then we need to join these two surfaces. Then we need to create connect this surface, and uh, maybe I'll just is there any way I can draw on the image? Ah, uh, I don't know. So I'll just show you when you when I'm doing. It's not that complicated process like uh, I'll just show you uh, one minute sorry I'll just move this here I'll just keep the loft over here the flip matrices and loft which is not needed right now so let's simplify this okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going I said before I just need to create another surface so I use the same SGL over here and uh, I'll just keep it here and uh, I just move this here so in the second DSDL, I'm going to use the same, but in this, like uh, the only thing which will be changing here, like I'll just use Control C, Control V. But I'll first I'll change the domain. The domain will be changed, and I'll just 
connect this over the length and the direction of the point so instead of like the sort list which we are using here uh, we will be using the same um, like um, how do I say we will be using the same over here this part and uh, wait a sec I will just move it here I will just show you so in this case like uh, you can see this is the origin point so I am just going to like uh, move this maybe a little so you can see the uh, so the perpendicular frame is like uh, if this is the frame and point this is like point zero this is like one so if I move like point one side so this one is moved like on the both like top and bottom it's moved like this so it's like it's moved to point fifteen so after this I will I can rotate the axis so uh, and so I'm just using the y axis over here and uh, like I'm just rotating it so let's use a uh, degree here like in the last I used radian so it's up to you like I'm just using like I'm trying to use all the options so that you can see like what are the options are really available in this so I'm going to use like a uh, control C control V for this so I'm going to use a remap number and uh, for the value I'm going to use uh, the same value from the graph and uh, for the source uh, I can use a domain construct domain over here or else I can use bound okay so now we got this value over here and I'm going to give this value to the angle and now I'm going to use this geometry over the direction so if you don't know what I'm doing like I'll just show you so you can see the points have been like I'll just give 20 so you can see it's been moving on the right side so the start point if you want to move the like the start point what I can do is like I'm just moving like over here so what it's not moving because like the start point is here I'm just using the origin so now I'm just moving the start point to the origin which I rotated so now you can see like the first the surface like wait I'll just uh, loft this control C control E sorry I just hide everything else even this so now I will just show you you can see so the loft lines are be moving in and out so I'm just like I can use like for now 10 over here and you can see the point has been like you can see it's like it's moving from 0 to 1 so for now I'll just keep it for like 15 maybe it will be little confusing but once you start to work on that like don't uh, try to copy exactly what I do try to understand like try to understand the changes when you connect to work. like take it slowly like when you try to add one when you try to add one component try to see what changes you can see like uh, in the model when you're changing the component okay because grasshopper is a kind of self-learning uh, software like uh, like you just need to do practice like understand the concept practice it so now we got like a two uh, like a like a two surface so in this point I just use like end uh, points I get the points over of the surface like where I flip the mattress flip mattress sorry flip matrix I'm just saying mattress sorry <laughs> like a polyline okay I used a polyline over here so I you can see like I got the edge of uh, you can also do uh, like explode or something like deconstruct bit up but uh, I'm just using endpoints over here 
the same way I'm going to use like control C control V connect this over here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a uh, ruled uh, surface you can use loft but I'm using ruled surface here so, so merge this is the first surface this is the second surface and uh, you see the third one is added which we really don't need what we like we just hide this for now you see like um, there's like one two and third one is like i need to connect this curve to just show you not this curve the end curve i need to connect this curve uh, towards uh, this curve like uh, if i'm not wrong where is the poly curve mm. okay Okay, so wait. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is like uh, I'm going to create poly line. Mm, I'll just create this over here. Uh, flip pointers. Okay. So I need to connect this curve towards this curve so what i'm going to do is like uh, i'm going to use like let's keep it uh, maybe for now let's delete this i'll just use merge and i'll use this as a curve and let's take it over here i'm just flattening this flatten then connect it over here so when i flatten you can see like uh, there's like 14 curves and if you see there is around 14 curves so what i need to do is i need to match these curve zero zero curve in a single uh, branch i need to branch it like that way so what i'm doing is i'm going to graft it over here again let's see so you can see like two polylines uh, like polycurves are being created but when i love this like i don't get what i want you can see these two is being connected but i want uh, this curve and this curve to be connected so what i can do is i can use a shift list and i just connect this and i use one over here so shift over here and uh, like i hope it works no it doesn't work uh, let's connect like this okay wait a sec okay okay and why it is not locking okay simplify uh flat and okay simplify okay the branch has been changed flatten now it's been grafted sorry flatten okay yeah so i just need to check the branch over here like uh wait i'll like if you see like when i do control z you can see like the branch is like zero here is like zero comma zero comma zero and the curve we use like here you can see it's only zero so that's why i just flatten this so it comes in both uh, branches like zero zero now when i graph like this zero this, this zero becomes as a single branch i'll show you 
you need to manipulate the data you just need to understand the data so 0 1 0 1 0 1 so now we got this so now the model is like kind of done like it's done okay as, as i said it's so easy okay so there is an alternative way to create this surface the last surface which we created uh like uh wait i just uh, like turn this off okay what i can do is like i create like a line now what i'm going to do is like a I'm going to use the line STL like uh, I said. So I'm going to use the end point in this, and for the uh, like uh, sorry for the, the end point towards the start point. And now I can use like the construct plane. I said, okay, sorry the deconstruct plane. I can use this point like shift. Uh, Okay. list because like it should be moved one way so one direction so that uh, i can create the diagonal connections uh, maybe i'll just give point so let's just hide everything so you can see there is like a diagonal uh, curves which has been created between two, two point series now i'm just going to give uh, loft but uh, flip matrix okay so you can see now it's been created so it's like it's uh, so when i hide this so you can see like uh, i'll just show you both the loft So you can see now the loft has been created. Sometimes there will be like small difference in the in the like in the detail. Uh, but uh, it's up to you. You can choose your process, which process you want to do. It depends on what is your output and stuff. So now let's turn on this and uh, let's turn on uh, this. Well, you see the loft is created now let's pipe this everyone seriously one is too much well, because in this image I see this line so instead of line let's pipe this okay so this is the model which has been created in the image if you want you can manipulate a little however you want you can uh, if you want uh, you can increase the number of curves If you want also you can increase the height like 150 so you can increase the height you can change the radius so this is technically the parametrical so like you can change with different types different way I'm just changing the numbers later okay so the model has been changing so this is how it works so if you have any other doubts please let me know in the comment section and uh, subscribe to my channel it will be a plus and uh, if you think uh, this video will be helpful for your friends or colleagues you can share it to them so thank you for watching the video please let me know any queries or something in the comment section bye bye share as much as possible have a good day